Hi, I'm Sean at Cambridge Elevating, your dealer training manager. Today we're going to discuss the installation of the GMV operator. So inside your box, you will have your landing sill, a tow guard for the Cambrian. It's not required on our Heritage model because we supply our own on the cab, and the operator. So let's talk about everything you're going to receive inside the box. First, you're going to start with your sill hardware. Inside here, your carriage bolts are not required as they're for metal floors. So on your Lula, you will need these. However, we do supply you with a hardware pack that does come with longer ones to go through the wood floor. Those mount the sill to the cab. Next, you have your door hardware package. It has all your gibs and everything that's required to hang your door panels on the operator. Next, we have our door operator bracket kit. These are used to mount your brackets to the back of your operator to hang off the ceiling. Next, we have a heavy operator kit that is installed on the brackets. It per helps prevent the uh, drop of the operator after you set the correct door height. You'll also find the key to adjust your doors inside the box. Lastly, you have a bag of extra hardware for those days when uh, you drop something down the shaft, it saves you from running down to pick it up. The T-brackets you will receive uh, are used for the following combinations of 84 inch cab with 78 and 3 quarter inch 3 panel doors only. In this package you will also receive the hardware kit B along with the heavy operator kit. The L-brackets are used for the following elevator combinations. 84 inch cab with 78 and 3 quarter inch doors, 2 panel only. 84 inch cab with 84 inch doors, 2 and 3 panel. And 96 cab with 96 inch doors, 2 and 3 panels. With the L brackets you will receive a door mount kit, hardware package B, along with a heavy operator kit. Here we have our A bracket. It's used with the following combination of 96 inch cab with 78 and 3 quarter inch doors. And you'll also get the door mount kit hardware pack A. Here we have our B bracket. It's used with our 96 inch cab and 84 inch door combination for two and three panel doors. You'll also receive the door mount hardware kit marked A. Take your three long carriage bolts here uh, and slide them in the bottom of the sill. These come in your hardware packages A and B. So now you'll see there's holes notched in the uh, floor for our sill. We will take that and line up our carriage bolts so they all line up the holes, drop it into place, push tight to the right wall or left wall and line up the flat edge with the face of the floor. Okay, so here just open up the door operator mounting kit. We're going to install our cage nuts onto our T-brackets. Just like so, now we're ready to install the brackets on the operator. This here is your heavy operator kit that we supply with the L brackets and T brackets. We're going to install this now over your top nut mounting here so that you will lock it in once it's the other way around. It will hold all the weight for you. Again, it's just hand tight so we can adjust it later. Now we can add this plate onto your threaded rod. And then Let's add your couple nuts here. Once we have our height set, we'll lock these down into place, which then will hold your operator up and you'll never have to worry about your operator dropping down onto your sill plate. As you can see, I chose a second window on the other side as well, just so we can spread the weight out evenly along the ceiling. That way it also helps if you have something with uh, no header. Now we're gonna install the custom brackets. You'll see that they have a couple of cutouts on the back side that will line up with the operator dimples that are here. Just slide those in, line them up. The holes are pre-threaded, so you can just use the exact same bolts that come with the kit. Thread them in, lock them down tight, and then I grind off the ends on if these bolts are too long, because they will pass the bracket. Um, in one of your new kits coming out soon, you should have the proper length so that there's no interference from the bolt. So now these are installed and tight, just zip that off with your grinder and you're good to go ahead and mount. As you can see, both brackets have been installed. 
with the heavy operator kit. As you will see, there is some three quarter inch shims on the rooftop. That's only going to be for your combination of 84 inch cab with 78 and three quarter inch doors. So now we need to set the height to mount them. I'm going to take a measurement from the sill to the underside of the arm plus two and three quarter inches for a total of 81 and a half. That will be the correct height for your doors. Let me go ahead and confirm that we have it set to the correct height. Drop the tape back on the top of the sill and we are 81 and a half. Now we can go ahead and plug in our operator and test to make sure it's functioning as it should. Plug these in where they go, into the door, first floor door. On your board here you have an enable button and then on each uh, section there's a, another button that you can press and test so we're going to hold in the enable button and then hold in the black button. The doors will cycle open and when you release they will close. And that concludes on how we install a GMV operator. Please keep in mind, whatever your door height is, add two and three quarter inches and you will have the proper measurement to go from the top of your sill to the bottom of the arm.